Hey everyone, this is Crying Mo, and uh, thanks for coming back to watch another episode. Today we're picking up where we uh, left off last time, which was, um, let me think. Oh, that's right. Loot, all kinds of. Ah! Ah! Run away! Oh gosh. Creeper in the face. Yeah, wow, okay. Yeah, we went towards there, that's all I remember. Um, but I took the screen snaps with the coordinates, which is why I do that. There we go. We'll breed a couple of chickens here. Come on. There we go. All my stuff is gone. Wonderful. Okay. I have no food. Wow, I have no food. Zombies are waiting for me. Oh, some apples. Dude, I don't have an axe, I don't have anything. Can zombies climb ladders? I don't know if they can. There we go. At least get it up to where we'll heal, probably half half health. All right, so let's see. Um, is he coming? Oh man, he can climb the ladder. Wow. Uh, how about we just do this? Jeez, let's make something here. Dude, we don't have, mm, we don't have, we have nothing. Oh boy. Okay, so we did some mining down there. We found, found some pretty cool stuff. We're going to, uh, real quick here, we're going to build a little fishing shack. And that is going to benefit us immensely in uh, this 1.9 version of the game. Um, yeah, I kinda gotta do that so I can set it up in AFK while I go to work. Um, there's some rain outside, cool. Um, I could actually turn that off visually, but I'm going to let it play out um, for now. If it bothers us, I can turn it off via Optifine, um, which won't actually get rid of the rain. Just get rid of the graphics um, of, the game, of the rain falling. Okay, so I found some stuff downstairs. I got some more, a lot more stuff downstairs, some more diamonds and stuff like that. I just came up here because I want to create the fishing shack real quick. And, of course, all of our wood and everything is downstairs. So we'll go grab that real quick and I will show you where oh let's see hey buddy so I'll show you where I've watched the tutorial on the fishing shack it's by uh, panda4994 I'll put a link in the description for the fishing shack for 1.9 um, I say fishing shack it's a fish farm <laughs> um, yeah semantics okay so Check it out. We've got some diamonds, got an emerald, got some lapis, some redstone. Doing all right. Picked up a bucket of water for when we go find the uh, uh, lava so we can mine up some obsidian. But um, what I need here is the string. Make some redstone torches real quick. I think we only need one. We do need a uh, iron trap door, which I th think is that. Yep. All right. Well, I found a spider spawner. We probably have to set up a dungeon. I mean a spawner, a uh, spider farm, just to farm some XP, because that's what we're going to need along with our fish farm um, in order to make use of all the rad enchanted books we are going to get through fishing while AFK. Um, we need to make some more wood here. So let's go grab some more wood real quick. Gonna make a, f a chicken farm. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. Come on, buddy. There's like five hits on this. Ah. All right. Wow. There's an Enderman over there. Two Endermen over there. I'm just not prepared. I'm not prepared to go after Endermen yet, even though we need the Ender Pearls. We also need to make sure the fishing shack does much better. The fish the fish farm does better when you have a skylight. Um, so I might have to drill down from above and probably want yeah, we want some sand. Alright. Put torch here. Home sweet home torch. Make a little space. We gotta get to the nether. We gotta, gotta get the blaze rods and we need a block of 
soul sand. All right. Well, yeah. Mm, wow. Obsidian takes forever. I'll speed this up for everybody. All right. Ten pieces is all we need to make ourselves a portal. Uh, I believe I have some flint. I believe I have some steel. So we can make a portal. We can make a quick portal right here. Um, again, this is not a permanent portal. This is just so we can get over to the nether and get ourselves a piece of soul sand. There's one there. Mobs are all outside waiting for us. I forgot to get eggs from the chicken place, see if we can make chickens. But see, when we do this fish farm, we're going to actually have a lot of fish to eat. So we'll be, we'll be good on the food front. Oh, man. I'm good at that. I'm good at doing things twice. And we're going overseas. Okay, man. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh. Close down right away. Oh, that's a, that's the other thing we want. Ah. Oh. Well, how many of these guys are out here? All right. Yeah, we need this for comparators. Mmm. I hate those guys. Creepy. Gas-fired babies is what they sound like. Ugh. Okay. Well, all right, so we just want... Ah! I got one arrow. <laughs> I got one arrow. <laughs> That's not really... All right, we need some soul sand. Need some soul sand. Oh, I didn't take a picture of where the portal is for coordinates because I will get lost in the nether. That is definitely for sure. I'm gonna fall in lava. I don't have fire resistance potions, which I normally always keep on me, always. And now it's gonna take me forever to find soul sand, isn't it? Because I'm looking for it. Oh, awesome, it's right there. I don't need much. Back home. I feel like an astronaut without his spacesuit on when I'm running around the nether with no good armor, no fire resistance potions. Yeah, that's just. But it's a pretty safe spot up here. You see a fortress anywhere? Hmm. That was another thing I was going to mention was that I will make use of some of the apps that are out there. Um. Well, specifically, there's one website that has uh, the apps that help you find and locate things like witch huts and fortresses and things like that, biome finder, stuff like that. So I'll include that in the in the LP in the gameplay when I switch over to the map finding, just so you can see it, you know, give credit to where credit's due for the people who made those apps, because they're super helpful and help us save time, make a little more efficient use of our time in the game. That was loud. Okay. Cool. So we got our soul stand right here. So we need this, 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 and we need some more chests. And that, we need redstone. Some of this, we're gonna make a set of stairs. And then we're going to make a few more chests because when I AFK at this fish farm, yeah. Well, I only set up for three. That's fine. Okay. So the way this works is here. Oh, I need one up here. Oh, no. Stairs go here. Like that. And then we have a block up here, that, and we have a block 
here, a block here, and a block here, and a block here. And I think, oh, this is where the redstone torch goes. And this is where this guy goes. Yep, and we have to go up here for a second. Make that cobble as well. Okay, so we need to grab a couple pieces of redstone. One, we only need one actually. So that goes there. And I gotta jump up here for a second. So let's get this rid of this guy. Whoa. Yeah. So we have tripwire here here. We have water here, and we have our string here. Okay. Yeah, so that's where the soul sand goes, I believe. We're going to put a hopper there, and the hopper will go to our chest. Alright, so I didn't, I didn't do this. We will do a couple of wooden trapdoors just to make our chest accessible. And then we're going to make a staircase down here. So here's where our. So we're going to stand right here. This is where we. Nope. Get it ready. Okay. That's good there. And so we'll put another one here. And one more, I think. go. Okay, so the items will drop and filter down here. Make a little access porch for us here. Yeah, this is very quick. Quick and dirty, as they say. There we go. So what we want to do here is um, we don't want items to go flying around. So we'll wall this stuff all in. This we're going to leave open because I come down here. So we're at uh, 222, 240. Hmm. Oh, this is always a pain. This one. I can't get out of here without doing this. All right, there we go. So, I think this is all okay here. Put these guys over the top of this. There we go. Um, Hmm. We might want to do this real quick. So we can wall it in. We just don't want items to drift or fall out because they might end up being valuable. So we could just make ourselves a little side access. Do this. And that way we can wall this off as well.
I don't know if that blocks the air, the sky or not. Um, let's do that, and then we can do this as well, so that nothing will escape. And let's put it just to make sure I didn't screw something up. So yep, showed up at the bottom. Okay, good. All right. So that's that. And then we can access our chest here. Torch here. Quick and dirty. Quick and dirty. So the way that we do this and go AFK is we put this guy here. Now, I will do this and show you a little... This is how you can AFK something if you're doing single player. Because a lot of times these... AFK machines are not allowed on servers, I know, because, um, you know, they, you know, you AFK and you can suck up resources and get hours and stuff um, when you're not really playing a game or whatever. But so on the single player, though, you can just do this. So what I do is go to the keys and I change this to my left, I'm sorry, my right enter key. And now when I do that, oh, we didn't wall ourselves in here. Okay, and now we've got our key, we push it, and we started going, and that's okay, and I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. And anyway, we'll be back, and we'll see what we got out of the fish farm next time. Okay, I hope everybody has a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wherever you are. Enjoy life. Thanks for watching.